Brian, can you talk into his mic? Mic test, one, two, check, check. Brian, can you talk into his mic? Mic test, one, two, check, check. Talk close to this one. Close. Talk close. Mic check. One, two, three, four. Testing. Testing. Mic check. Sound seven out of ten. Good enough. Thank you for trying. He might be a little bit generous. Who knows? Are you just going through this thing? I cannot tell. Yes, good. So better than it was? Better than it was. Much better, still a lot of background noise. We're not going to be able to do much about the background noise. That's kind of just how it's going to go, unfortunately. <laughs> That one, I can actually like just boom into. I can just sit here and make sure. That we... So, how do you confirm if it's going from this or that? Would it be helpful to run this directly and pull out the and put in this one? Because this mic is cutting out a lot of the background. And if they're not hearing that, um, all right, testing, testing, mic check, one, two, for Twitch stream. Hope you guys can hear us a little bit better now. That's the adult, no guarantee. It's really bad. Are they not hearing this? It's really bad. I mean, like, what? So you're listening to it right now? Uh, yeah, I'm listening to it right now. It's mostly background noise, and then like. So they're not. They must. Well, well what are they hearing? What is, is that possibly picking up from the other I think it's getting the. Hello, hello, hello. I think it's getting the. I mean, I guess here, do a test. This. Do yourself. Do yourself. <laughs> 
it's getting them the webcam. Oh, it's fine. coming from the webcam. Oh. That, that will, that's definitely a good one. I'm just going to do it. 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 I'm just going Mike check now, 314, take one, check, check. Is this better? A lot better? How's the background noise? Oh, oh yeah, solid, Perfect. solid, Perfect. real good. It's back, awesome, awesome. So we just had to jostle a few cables around and switch some things up, and now we should be good. Sorry for delay, everyone. Um, once again, welcome to the Bay Area Fall Mechanical Keyboard Meetup 2017. Um, if you have time to listen, Brian and I of Talk Clack will be doing a Talk Clack live episode. Yay! How exciting. So, yes, yeah, so definitely definitely feel free to, to go about your business. We're just going to be talking about keyboards and the meetup in general and interacting with Twitch chat. We are currently live on Twitch right now on our main channel, twitch.tv slash top clack, um, streaming to quite a few people. But um, we're going we're gonna to try to make this as, as nice as possible. Our setup could be a little bit better. As uh, as most top clack viewers know, there's there's exclusively problems every single time. But, you know, we, we get through it, and we're going to make the best of it. We make do. We make do. We, we do what we can. It's funny because you can actually see it on stream. It's just like a little black like thing coming at me. You're used to that, aren't you? Little black things coming at you? Only slightly. Only slightly. <laughs> but, um, yeah, so, so Twitch Chat, how are, how are you guys doing today? Is there anything that you would like to, to know specifically about the meetup? We're going to talk a little bit about some of the some of the people we've met and some of the keyboards that we've seen and liked. But uh, we're going to try to be very interactive with Twitch chat during this stream as well because you know we we don't have a ton of content prepared and we I've already run into about 20 minutes worth of issues. So for the norm, for yes. the norm. All right, bulgogi. Yes, bulgogi is good. So Brian. Have you had a chance to try out the new Hawko players and Hawko Trues? Yes, and they are good. Are they? They are. Which is, which of the two is your, are your favorite so far? I didn't spend enough time with the Trues, but I thought the Clears were very good. I think they're better than the Halo versions. Hmm. What hmm. about you? What do you think? I actually I didn't have a chance to try the Clears as much. I tried the Trues. Very excited for those. Very excited for the build we'll have with those later. 
Um, I don't know. I want to do a head to head comparison at some point, hopefully. Yeah, maybe we could even get the boards over it and do that now since they're probably right out behind us. Hint, hint, input club, hint, hint. Um, so, Brian, how many people do you think are here right now at this very second? Um, I'm going to go ahead and say 200. It's hard to see outside. There's a lot of people outside, too. That's true. It's, it's about lunchtime, so a lot of people are, are out getting uh, bulgogi, waffles, or pancakes, and uh, Mexican food, which is really, really fun. Um, yeah, this, this event is turning out pretty pretty well. Pretty well. We have a lot of people here. Um, a lot of food trucks, which is always, always a good part. Carlbet wants us to go find Yuppie and kiss him. Probably not going to do that. Probably. More than Seattle? Uh, I don't know. Right now, probably. Yeah. This space is quite a bit better for, for housing this many people. Will there be new pictures of Quakums to meme with? No, probably not. Probably not. No, no. How's the weather today? It's it's too hot. It's like 60 and it's too hot. It's, it's pretty nice. It's pretty nice. A little cooler would be even better, though. Ah, boards. Yes. So we, we just got... Is it truth? Okay, yeah. So so I, I've just been handed a, uh, a K-type with... Um, these have the Hako trues. You can see that, that box stem. It's kind of a, a pink sea salt color, I believe is what they're calling it. Himalayan uh, salt, thank you very yeah. much. Himala Himalayan salt. So... Um, a brief brief typing on these. I, I think they're actually quite fantastic. I I want to use them. So do I. I, I will get to use them. Yeah. Wait, aren't it. these? Oh, those are clears. And okay. these are the so, Paco clears that um, are replacing the Halo clears. Very very exciting. Yeah. So if you tuned in earlier, you probably got a little bit of a peek of. Hata of Input Club's presentation, where he talked a little bit about the Halo and the Hakko switches, and um, a little bit about how they differ and how they were manufactured. A uh, really cool presentation. If you have time and you didn't see it earlier, you should definitely go back and check that out, because it was very worth it. But uh, yeah, long story short, Hakko switches are, are pretty fantastic. They're definitely coming very soon. They're hoping to start production in December, which will be... Uh, which would be pretty darn okay, IMO. All right. Gen, uh, Avid User 2 is asking about Janglad's prototype, the M0110, which uh, I haven't actually seen yet, but someone told me it was around here. But there are so many keyboards and so many people here, it's, uh, it's a little hard to get around. So I haven't really seen as much keyboard action as I personally would have liked. But, you know, that's that's how it goes. Aside from these boards, though, has there anything that's really caught your eye that either any of the vendors, sponsors, or individuals attending here has brought? Mm -hmm. Well, our, our awesome partner, Novel Keys, is in attendance today, and he did bring several of the big switches, which we've been hyping on the stream lately, and those, trying them for the first time today, those are, those are pretty awesome. Um, we also have uh, representatives from Cherry in the house. That's pretty cool. Um, all the way from Germany, too. All the way from Germany. Yep. Um, uh, Mr. Cheddar is here with his prototype board, The Level. That's pretty cool. I checked that out uh, about half an hour ago. And then, uh, yeah, what else What else is there? What else has caught your eye, Huey? Norbauer's Aluminum Real Force cases. Oh, those yes. have definitely caught my eye. Those are definitely going to be like one of those must-order things whenever they release, hopefully hopefully soon. Um, I know that, that retro refrigerator finish on it is just perfect. Perfect. Favorite food truck so far? Um, hmm. I've actually, I've only eaten at the, the Korean barbecue truck so far. James Health. <laughs> Can you get Norbauer to talk about the case on cam? If we can track him down. If we can track him down. Most of the people at the meetup actually can't hear us because the, the microphone we're using for the PA system is pretty soft, I think. So, And most people have pretty loud conversations. We're gonna, for, for the sake of top plaque, we're going to try anyway. So 
calling Ryan Norbauer. If you could come up to the front where the top clack presentation is happening right now, you are you are asked to be on stream to talk about the new Real Force case, if you wouldn't mind. So hopefully hopefully that works, but we'll we'll see. There are a lot of people here, and he might not even be here anymore. Are there a lot of razor boards on display? No. No, no I don't think I, I, I don't have seen a single one. I have not seen a single razor board. Thankfully. That, that, that's true progress in our community. Yeah, that's there's a lot progress. of customs here. A lot of customs. I was expecting to see a lot of like stock OEM boards, but man, the community as a whole has really grown a lot in a, terms of customs. A lot of custom switches. I'm, I'm really excited. You know, I think switch modding especially has really taken off really recently, and like this meetup is a really good way of people really showing that they have what it takes when they want to make custom switches, um, either custom manufacturer switches, whether it's um, these Hako switches. Zeal is here with his Zelios, including a new 68 gram Zelios, which is even more tactile. Um, my technology is here with his different new box switches. I think the custom scene has just grown so significantly very recently in this hobby. It's amazing. Avid User 2 asks, what cool boards have you seen? Um, well, like Huey said, the uh, the, Nor the Norbauer case. Oh, hey, you want to come back and chill with us on camera for a minute? Yeah, yeah. We, we were able to track down Norbauer. And, uh, you know, maybe he can say a few words. He can say a few words about um, the uh, the real force case he's, he's been working on. Oh, I see. There's an extreme delay, which is ex exceedingly disorienting. A little bit. This one Sorry. is for Twitch chat. This one okay. is for our PA system. So you, have, you want to ask me about something? What? <laughs> uh, so, so someone earlier was was asking about the um, your upcoming real force case. Okay. Maybe, maybe you just give a couple of quick thoughts on like what it is and your kind of thought process behind it, stuff like sure. that. Sure. I mean, so the I have this amazing case for my real force. Um, <laughs> uh, I, I just got like this. Somebody did a group buy in Korea like five or six years ago for a uh, CNC black anodized uh, real force case. And it's been my absolute favorite keyboard for my entire time being in the hobby. Uh, but it's gotten like totally fucked up over the years. I just, I have, you know. I do a lot of industrial design work, so I have calipers near my uh, keyboard all the time, and I'm just constantly scratching it up, which has you know, totally broken my heart. But I have this amazing keyboard case that I can no longer replace because like, the site that made it doesn't even exist anymore. So I wanted to make, uh, make one for myself. So uh, that's what I've been doing for like the past six months. And I tried to do a design that's a little bit unusual. like It has curved edges and these interesting bevels, and everything is kind of... Uh, has round radiuses and stuff on it, and uh, I just want to do something a little bit like weird and space age looking. Yeah. So that's what it is. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah, I checked that out earlier. It was it was definitely very cool. So your your Nova Touch um, replacement case did pretty darn well. Are you kind of expecting the same breakout success for the Real Force? Hope so. Sure. I mean, uh, the, the because more people probably own Real Forces than Nova Touches, I'd imagine. Uh, yeah, the, I mean, you can't even find a Nova Touch anymore. You can actually buy a real. They're pretty tough, yeah. You know, yeah. some minimal difficulty. Uh, so I don't know. I guess I mean I don't really care about how many I sell. I just want people to like feel like they're getting something from me that that would never otherwise happen. That is super cool, right? Like that's the the rewards for me of undertaking these projects are purely aesthetic. So, Definitely. Uh, like I want to do something a little bit weird and a little bit like kind of super fancy. And if somebody's like if five people get it and they're super excited about it, that's as cool to me as if I sell a ton of them. In fact, awesome. selling a ton of them can be a pain in the ass sometimes. Because I'm shipping these all out of my living room. Oh uh, yes. And, oh wow. You know uh, the, the, the the logistic nightmares of not having a, a distribution center or going yeah. through uh, another vendor. But totally. it's nice though because you know when you do sell a lot of something, then you have a little bit of resources to do some cool next new project. So uh, that's kind of what happened with the Nova Touch. It's like. Uh, way more successful than I would have expected, uh, and everyone seemed happy with it. So I, I've done some subsequent rounds, and that's like that has helped fund the rather expensive R&D process of the the real force case, because that one actually has to have its own little uh, like PCB breakout, uh, yeah. so that you can. Well, I guess I can just run the cord out of it, which is how my Korean one works. But I wanted to have a detachable cord so I had to get a, a custom PCB made, and, and there's. 
there are nuances involved in that one that weren't as part of the other Cool. So someone is asking about any future projects, if you happen to have any, that you want to share or tease. Uh, yeah, so two things I've been thinking about uh, that I... But I really, so I really love the material Corian, and I wanted to maybe do the real force case in Corian, but the geometry of how I had to design it to sort of re reverse engineer the case around the plate uh, made that challenging because Corian is, doesn't machine well when you have really thin walls. Uh, sorry, I don't know if you know what Corian is, but it's basically it's like a polymer composite, sort of a little bit like ceramic, a little bit like plastic, a little bit like stone. So I would I would love to make something in that because I think it's just like the coolest, most beautiful material, white core. You see it in Apple stores a lot and uh, a lot of store displays. Love to do something like that. Uh, a lot of people keep asking me for a FC 660C case. Yeah, several uh, people were asking about that. Yeah, because you know the I guess <laughs> my fellow Topher nerds have come to know the, that I you know share the, share an interest in that switch. I, I can't. I don't. I'm too old-fashioned to be able to handle anything less than a TKL, but I'm willing, in solidarity with my Topro friends, to uh, <laughs> to make a case for that. So I'll probably do that. And also, this uh, I made the artisan for the, the TNG set, the Galaxy Class key oh, set. Oh yeah, yes, the, the yeah. Bronze. And that actually was a very fun process. I I, I prototyped and actually made the mold the. Uh, Casting masters on my form two printer, which is a lot of fun. And so I'm thinking about maybe doing some more artisan stuff, just because it's kind of fun to play with that. Awesome. I mean, I guess that answers your question. Oh, definitely, yeah. Um, so someone's asking about win key blockers. Yes, which one do you win with? A win key blocking sample here. I'm sure people have taken pictures of it. Uh, actually, if you look on my Instagram, which is just Norbauer, I posted a picture of it today. Awesome. Uh, so, uh, you know, I, there's probably like three people in the universe who want win key blockers on their case, but I was one, happy two. to one. Two. Oh, okay, well, there. One of you out there, uh, you're going to get your, your win key blockers. Fantastic. Uh, I don't. So, can you explain that to me? Why, why did. Aesthetics. What, okay. A win key blocker. Is it like classy. an anti Microsoft thing? Is that what it is? No. no. Aesthetics. Aesthetics. Just okay. the, the simplest, simplistic look because, you know, all the old retro vintage keyboards didn't have the concept of a GUI slash super slash Windows key that just didn't exist back then. And back then they were, they did have physical blockers yeah. since they wanted the control key to be easily hit by the pinky and then you just bend your thumb for the alt, which left that space under your knuckles okay. that was just blocked off empty. And eventually we found a use for it. Okay. All right. I'll, uh, I'll allow this, but maybe you should carry this to your to the next logical conclusion and just like lock half of your keys. Would that be more aesthetically valuable? Hmm. <laughs> we were actually uh, I was talking with somebody else that we were thinking that the the ultimate achievement in keyboards may be like a gold plated single keycap that you were use like Morse code or something. You know, as as, uh, as keyboards slowly slowly drift towards smaller like that, and smaller like layouts. Like that one key binary key. Yeah. That that yeah, one guy yeah. made not that long ago. Like, that would be the ultimate elite keyboard. We need this. Most definitely. All right. Well, thank, thank you, you, thank you very much for, for coming on and, and talking to talking to our Twitch chat here. It's an extremely surreal experience, but yep. I'm in favor. <laughs> awesome. Thank you. Yeah, see you later. Cables. Good luck. Good luck on your real force project. Of course. Thank you. All right. Big shout out. Thank you to Norbauer for joining us on stage. Man. Yeah. People are very are, are very appreciative of our, our sound guy. User user Yuppie is passing by. Big shout out to Yuppie who got us this nest venue. He is a wonderful individual. All right. Very nice. Super cool to have people drop in. Yeah, I'm trying to think of who else we could have drop in. Hmm. Hmm. Oh. Yeah, we could we could grab uh we could grab Mike. I don't think I told from Cherry. <laughs> that, might be too impossible too. Might be too informal if they're not prepared, but maybe yeah. they are. What up, Ethan? Zababon is asking, are there any Tokyo 60s around? I saw Alvin a couple minutes ago. Yes, I can actually see several of them right now. Hold on. Yeah, grab one of the Tokyo 60s. We're having our uh, production assistant steal a keyboard for us. You heard Gaff is in attendance? Yes, I, I gave him a shirt earlier. 
We got someone earlier was asking artisans that are in attendance, and, and yes, we have um, we have kudos and quality of Key Collective. We have uh, Eat the Food of Nightcaps. Um, Tiny is here. Um, probably several others that I'm missing. Oh yeah, the switches aren't actually soldered to that. Yeah, no I forgot all about that. The switches aren't soldered. Sorry about that, Alvin. Rama, Rama is not here, unfortunately. Um, but yeah, this is this is the Tokyo 60. There, are, he brought three different prototypes. They're all pretty good. Rose gold bottom. Yes. Rose gold four millimeter aluminum bottom. If I'm not mistaken. I believe it. Is that the Tokyo? Yes, that is the Tokyo. Get Nick Heller on camera. I have no idea where he is, or if he's here. Quakeum's nailed his name tag. I didn't even write my name tag, but I, I yeah, I wanted a heart. Hey, Alvin, come, come on. Alvin, come would you like to talk to Top Clack about? So our our awesome friend Alvin. Would like to get soap and lathered? With uh, nearly custom beer soap? Soon. Soon. But sometimes, of sometimes. The Tokyo 60. I know we've had you on the show before yeah. to talk about the Tokyo 60. Um, and we're really excited about it. A lot of people are really excited about it. Um, for some people who might not know, what was the idea behind the Tokyo 60? Oh, dude. Um, a lot of it was, you know, how do you make the most minimal keyboard that you can? Right, you know, uh, when I took apart the HHKB, you know, you realize how elegant that whole thing is, right? It's, you know, all the switch housings are essentially in the top case. You know, it's it's more or less two pieces. So for this, I'm like, okay, well, how do I break um, the keyboard down to its really bare pieces? So you know, the top case is all 51 piece. The bottom plate is a flat plate. Um, you know, you pop switches in, and then you can snap in like any standard 60% PCB, and you have a keyboard. And, um, you know, yeah, just how do you get as, uh, I don't want to use the word it's, naked, it's, but, you know. Oh, no, you can definitely use the word naked. We're very familiar with that term on top clack. Very familiar. Too, arguably too familiar, but that's okay. Yeah, I might not even be wearing pants. Who knows? So a big question that we're getting from chat, and I think more than just chat, but a lot of the keyboard community is wearing the big four-letter word, when. When. Well, dude, this is really, really trippy. I you know, just having a great conversation with uh, Norbauer about how he ships. And, um, you know, the big thing is, how do you not screw this up, right? Because it's easy enough It's easy enough to start a group by, take a bunch of money, but then what happens after, you know? Uh, especially being based out of Tokyo, like, you know, how do I assemble stuff? It does it all come to me? Do I pack it up and then ship it out? Um, you know, I realize that the, the whole design of the keyboard is, like, maybe 10% of what actually needs to happen, you know, uh, the, this, the easy part, man, getting design and going to the factory and getting stuff produced. You know, the hard part is like, well, how does this actually get to people in one piece in the right quality and the right price, you know, because like if people are spending, you know, 30, 40 percent of the cost on the shipping and packaging, you know, it doesn't end up as value to what you pay money for, man. That, that's not that's not fair, you know. So, um, you know, this is great today, like, learning for a lot of folks are shipping um, what works, what doesn't work, and hopefully can piece something together that that, um, that can make people happy, you know? Because, you know, everyone's, everyone's like, up their game, right? You can't get by with a shitty group buy anymore. You know? uh, yeah. So, you really can't. You know, a lot of, a lot of companies, big and small, have had... Uh, they're blunders when renting group buys, and someone's been you know, wholesaling pitchforks, man. I don't know who, but you know, like yeah, the pitchfork yeah. emporium is really, really <laughs> gaining traction going. these days. Well, Alvin, thank you so much for thank joining you. us and talking to us a little bit about the Tokyo 60. We are really excited. You are welcome. See it hit production. Hit, yes. See and it guys, hit the website. Good to get clean. Get keyboard soap. Keyboard <laughs> soap. <laughs> keyboard soap. Yes. For not your keyboards, believe it or not, though. Next up, we have a, another wonderful guest who will be joining us, our partner Mike of Novel Keys, who has the actual production giant switches in the flesh with the giant keycaps. Really exciting, really cool stuff. Mike, thanks really for like joining us. Feel free to, Somewhere around here. Right here? Yeah. Well, hello? I'm going to squeeze in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh. Oh. Ah. It's I ruined it. I ruined it. This is the less important of the two mics. Yes. This one's more important right now. Okay. Big okay. Switch. 
Big switch. Awesome packaging. Yeah. My uh, my cousin, shout out to Wendell Bishop, actually designed the packaging for me. So very, very cool stuff. So we we do have uh, members from Cherry in attendance today, and they were they were very happy to see the big switch. How was how was that for you having them approach you about that? So that is pretty intense. Uh, I literally opened up my book bag and pulled out a big switch, and I was surrounded by people. wasn't expecting that. And uh, one of the Cherry reps actually was the first guy to to buy one one of the one of these samples that I have. Awesome, awesome, uh, pretty mind blowing. So for some people who might not know, they you know they know you have the big switch, but some people might be wondering why the big switch. <laughs> uh, the real reason why is uh, when I started Novel Keys, I was telling my my family members all about mechanical keyboards, and they're like, "Well, what is a mechanical keyboard?" And I would tell them, I'd be like, "It's this little thing that you press." <laughs> and uh, I was like, "Man, it'd be really helpful if I could show it like big scale to them." And that's how I initially got the idea. And then I was thinking. How cool would it be to have a real big functioning switch? Because we like keyboards, why not have like a desk toy for it? Most definitely. Most definitely. Oh, okay. Here's here's a good question by by Outrage Pudding. Where do you see novel keys head in a year or more? Oh man. Uh I don't know. If you would have told me back in February when I officially like opened up my shop where I would be now, I wouldn't have believed you. I'm um, officially part time at my like real job now because Novel nice. Keys has taken off. Um, I don't have a good answer for that. Hopefully, somewhere where I'm full time. That's always uh, that's always the dream, right? The dream. Be, being able to full time do what you actually like and what you're passionate about. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I'm hoping to have some actually like custom real switches that you can use in the keyboard. I just sent out my crude hand drawing of what I want it done. Uh, and that's really all I can say about it right now. But I got something in the works that hasn't been done before. Awesome. I, and I don't even know what that is, and now I want to know. We, we really look forward to it. Yeah. <laughs> yes, now, really now, I, now I really am looking forward to it. All right, so guys, make sure when you go buy switches, novelkeys.xyz. Promo code top plaque for, for top plaque people. Not, not for live Bay Area meetup people. Because top plaque people are better. Yep. <laughs> awesome. Thank you very much, Mike. Hey, we appreciate hi, it. Thank Thanks. You very much for joining us. I'm glad to be here. It's a good time. Yeah. All right. I'll leave my, my little guy there. Sounds okay. Good. Yes. It's I a good, trip good, over the mic. good prop. That click is so intense. Very intense, yeah. No, it's intense. Camping? No, that's fires and surface. Those are intense. But. Oh. <laughs> Yes. <laughs> but this meetup is intense. This meetup is very intense. There are still hundreds of people here. That's funny. Um, we're probably going to be wrapping up here in just, just a few minutes, but we're, we are still fielding questions from Twitch chat. If you guys would like to know anything that's, that's going on, kind of happenings. There's still one more talk later, which will be um, Jesse from Keyboardio. We'll be doing a talk at uh, 2.30 about making mechanical keyboards. He has spent a long, long journey to bring the Keyboardio to reality. So he's going to be talking at 2.30. We'll be streaming that as well. Uh, but yeah, we're answering more questions. We're checking out more things on the chat. It is it's really exciting. I can't tell if people are starting to filter out or not. I think it's the food. The food. Is the food? Food's, food's getting to people. Food's getting to people. I, I need a nap. I'm running on two hours of sleep. I I might or might not have woke up drunk still. It's uh it, it's been a rough day. It's been a long day, but a fun day because keyboards, the things we do for what we love, Huey. I feel you. I feel you. I'm quite tired, but you know I'm I'm getting through. I do want to do another shout out to a uh, tiny T who is about 20 feet from me who is doing a wonderful charity raffle um if you are in person you can hear me over the microphone you should check out her little booth um and possibly get some raffle tickets to win some awesome caps she's crafted all the proceeds will go to a wonderful charity organization because tiny maybe tiny but she has a giant heart <laughs> Aww. Aww. Avid user 2 asks if we've eaten yet. Yeah, we just ate. I still don't feel that good. Um, 
What keyboards did we bring? I brought my Fiel, my X60, M65, Clipe, and that's, that's about it. I didn't bring a whole lot. I brought my, I brought the Time TKL, which people should check out. Um, review coming soon, TM. Um, that's Real Force A7U 55 gram, HHKB that I reviewed, um, Stainless Steel AEK64, and X60. For sure. How many caffeine pills have we had? I've had one. I've actually had none. I'm going strong. Wow. You're, all right. Thoughts on the updated Zelios? Uh, I haven't actually tried them. I saw Zeal when he got here, and I don't think I've seen him since. I would recommend you try them, because I have, and they feel pretty darn good. It is really? a step in the right direction for Zeals. Okay. Definitely a step in the right direction. Beard is looking mad nice today. Thank you very much. I did nothing to it, like usual. Nap before drinking round two tonight? Yes, I am not drinking tonight without a nap. That's a good idea. All right, looks like we have a, a actually fairly real question here. I'm still a bit unclear how the Hako trues and clears differ. Could you describe the way they feel compared to each other? So the trues will have a bit different of a spring. It's a heavier bottom out and a lighter actuation. It alters the bump a little bit to give you a slightly more Topra-esque feel. The clears are a bit more true to like an MX clear, a little bit closer to that more standard form of MX tactility. Um, they both feel quite good, but that's 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 pretty much how they differ. I would highly recommend um, checking out the force curve graphs on Hata's Plotly so you can quantify the differences between Halos and Hakos because those are really easy to see if you see it through uh, the force curve graphs. Would recommend. Huey looks so different here compared to his normal top back angle. Yep. All right. Top five keyboards at the meetup? Oh, man. Uh, five of the 13 keyboards that Input Club has brought. So Input Club has brought some very specific keyboards. Uh, as you know, Input Club, as an organization, owns literally hundreds and hundreds of vintage keyboards and they're they, they they decided to whittle it down to about 10 to 15 boards to bring only and they chose some of the most unique boards to bring so for me like in terms of uniqueness awesomeness and whatnot impa club has some of the most crazy awesome uh keyboards even though you can't really obtain them really rare anymore stuff. Yeah. really rare stuff um, Jan Glad is asking how tall I am. I am six foot four, which is like 193 centimeters for for you uh, Europeans. Any TKL Key Cult number one appearance? I have not seen it. If it's here, I haven't seen it either. Could be. What's the closest switch in feel to the Hako? Which Hakos? I don't know, man. Like it's 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 too different. It's too different. But I guess just like better MX clears, which is what they're trying to go for. How large is the DIY switch market? Uh, do you mean customize your own switches or just buying standalone switches to build with? I would say the latter is, is quite large these days in the community. The former, maybe not quite as much. Is unikeyboard.io there? I don't know who that is. Couldn't tell you. Will you do a small video of Input Club cool keyboards? We won't, but hopefully they will. We'll talk. I'll, I'll talk to them about that. Just, just for, just for you, talk black. Just for you. Which Hako switches do we each prefer? Um, I don't know, man. True. We got uh, we got a K type right here. This this has Hako clears in it. Oh wait, no, I'm lying. This has Hako trues in it. The the Himalayan pink salt stem. Um, I like these a lot. I haven't really typed on a full board of the clears yet, um, but those are also pretty good. It's, it's, it's too early to say, too early to say, but um, I'm really liking where this is going. I like them better than the Halo Trues, so that's, that's, a, that's a step in the right direction in my opinion. New California meetup keycap this year? I actually didn't even grab yeah, one. There are new California keycaps. Um, every meetup I do in California is a unique keycap to uh, the venue. 
So anyone who's here, by the way, who can't hear me and hasn't grabbed, what's happening? Forget. That was weird. Sorry about that. Lol. Um, Typical top back problems. It's all good. Hashtag top back problems. Uh, yeah. So there's a unique keycap for every meetup I do. Uh, I, I host. Um, so if you're here and you can hear me, um, feel free to grab one of those keycaps that Waz Keyboards has very graciously printed for the meetup. Um, yeah. There's never going to be a one like that again. Has there been any word about samples available from novel keys? What kind of samples? I don't. I don't know, man. I don't know. I don't know. Hmm. We're gonna be wrapping up pretty shortly because at two o'clock there is gonna be a live soldering demo uh, right outside um, of these of uh, the Nest Cafeteria, which will be wonderful. Um, so if anyone here is newer in the community and hasn't soldered or is curious about learning how to solder, I recommend at two o'clock you head outside right behind where I am sitting and you can learn how to solder yourself and even get a chance to solder on a PCB yourself before you get to soldering your own. All right. Uh, MB Surfer is asking, any light or heavy BKE domes there? Yes, there is a full board of each of the, the J-Chan BKE Redux. I felt them. They're both pretty good. Um, if you like BKE, you'll probably like these ones as well. Um, oh, Fox Fluke is talking about the Hako samples. Um, I don't think... I don't think Novel Keys is going to be stocking those, as far as I'm aware, at least not yet. Most common key set of the meetup? Huh. I don't know. I haven't really been paying that much attention, honestly. Hard to say. That's too hard to say, unfortunately. No Chance RPG is asking, what would you recommend for a switch with the crispest, most edgy tactile switch? Less a bump, more of, more of an edge. Um, I, I don't really know what you mean by edgy. Um, yeah, carbon, carbon is definitely is pretty popular. There's, se there's several carbons. Ugliest board here? I don't know, man. I've actually spent so little time looking at keyboards. I've only hey, looked at a handful. GMK Rainbow is the ugliest board here. Pew, 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 pew. Have Shots you tried fired. Yubi's Xylent Canoe? Actually, yeah, I did check out his canoe. Yeah, That's yeah, a pretty Yubi's sweet Xylent board. Yubi's Canoe is amazing. Um, Mega Forces, uh, Xylent, um, Jane is also very, very smooth, very, very, uh, not smack, very, very smooth and amazing. It's just too quiet for my tastes. Hey, we have another rainbow lover. <laughs> How are BKE compared to 45 gram Topra? BKE is a lot more intense. Someone's taunting me right now with GMK Rainbow. Or here you go. I mean, when you asked what the ugliest board here was, it was just handed to me. Kidding, kind of. <laughs> Any dumpsters full of gaffs yet? Not to my knowledge. All right. Well, that'll probably about do it for us. We're gonna we're gonna go head out and, and prepare for the soldering demonstration, and then we'll have uh, another talk with Jesse of Keyboardio a little bit later after that. So um, look forward to that. We'll we'll be stopping the stream, but we'll turn it back on once that uh, presentation starts. Hopefully at two thirty, if I recall. So we will be hosting Tiny Stream if she is streaming. I think she is. Yes, I'm assuming she's streaming. Um. Yeah, so thank you guys for, for tuning into this. Sorry for all the issues we had at the beginning. Hopefully that uh, we, we made up for a little bit. So, um, so yeah, thanks for coming to hang out with us and look forward to the uh, the next one. Presentation coming soon. Um, special thanks to Input Club and Novel Keys, who are both in attendance. All awesome people. Um, they, they, they really help us out a lot. They're our partners. You know, they're, they're doing great stuff. And uh, they extended that to here. It'd be cool if our, our third partner, Z Frontier, was also in attendance, but sadly they live in another country, um, and it's a little bit harder for them to make it out here. But uh, yeah, thank you guys for watching. Thank you everyone so much for watching, and I'm going to point to our stream technician for him to cut, cut, cut the feed, if he can figure out how to do that.
we're done. You can, you can, you can. I bet, I bet the, the thing.